hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to achieve a flawless base makeup and what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the makeup on half of my face and show you what difference does each and every step make and how you can achieve a flawless base makeup you am going to use all the products from mac today and i'm going to make it as illustrative as i can for you guys to quite easily understand it and it is especially useful for beginners who are just getting into makeup and are not sure about what each and every product is meant for i hope you guys enjoy watching my videos if you do please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel and let's get started with today's video the first step in my makeup routine always is color correcting and if you've been on my channel long enough you know my favorite favorite product for color correcting it is this mac select moisture cover concealer in the shade nw30 mine is totally empty and i'm just scraping out the last bits of this now as you guys can see i have quite a lot of darkness around my eye area and around my mouth what color correcting does is it neutralizes the darkness and tries to make it as close as possible to your natural skin color some people use orange corrector some people use peach correctors but i personally like to use a peach corrector because it is more closer to your skin tone and it is quite easy to cover up with a medium coverage foundation if you're going for a full full coverage foundation you can easily get away with an orange corrector but if you use a dark orange corrector and you use a medium to sheer coverage foundation it does peek through through from the foundation which does not look good really so i prefer using a peach corrector you do not need a product which specially mentions corrector you can just take any concealer one or two shades darker than your skin tone which has a peachy tint and does the job very 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 beautifully so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take a tiny bit of it on my under eyes and a tad bit around my mouth area it is very important to correct this area right here on the inside of your eye because if you do not correct it peeks through separating looks really really terrible i like to use my beauty sponge for most of my makeup and it does the job beautifully it makes your makeup look really really natural and very very skin like so i'm just going to take my beauty sponge and i'm going to blend this concealer out now you can instantly see the difference it makes in the appearance of your under eye circles it looks so nice and all almost all covered up with just a tiny bit of this peach corrector next moving on to the foundation i'm taking my mac mineralize foundation and i am in the shade nc30 i'm going to take just one pump of this because i'm doing half of my face and when i do my full face i take two pumps you can see the consistency of this product it's quite a lightweight and a very thin consistency and looks super super natural it's a very beautiful medium coverage foundation it is not a full full coverage foundation but it does the job of correcting and evening out your skin tone very very beautifully i just applied it with my finger and then i'm going to blend it out using the same beauty sponge i'm not a fan of fuller coverage foundations in general also i like to go for more sheer to medium coverage foundations because they are they look more forgiving and more effortless on the face This shade is the perfect perfect match for my skin tone. So if you are closer to my skin tone, this shade is the most perfect foundation for your skin tone as well. And guys, you can see my skin looks so nice and even out as compared to this side of my face, you can see a lot of darkness and pigmentation and some acne marks and some freckles which this side is quite beautifully covered and it is not 100% covered because that is not the goal i always like to go for a light to medium um, coverage with my foundation but it still looks like skin and looks really 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 beautiful and beautifully evened out so now the next step is your concealer you have color corrected your under eyes but still it is not as bright as i would like it to be so for brightening and to cover up any other darkness that is there i'm going for a lighter concealer and this is the mac pro long wear concealer and i am taking the shade nc30 which is close to my foundation shade and i don't like to go for a very light concealer i'm just taking a very very light amount of it just a pinch and it is quite a nice and almost a fuller coverage concealer and does the job beautifully to highlight your under eyes and your other areas which you want to uh, which you want to highlight so 
just took it with my finger and then i'm going with the same beauty sponge to blend it out i'm also going to apply it on my eyelids because i want to cancel out any darkness and any pigmentation that is there on the eyelids as well and then whatever is left on my beauty sponge i'm going to take it on my forehead and around the mouth to highlight those areas as well I took one pump of it and still there is a lot of concealer left on the back of my hand. This is a full 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 coverage concealer and you need a very 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 tiny amount of this. One pump is enough for your entire face and you just need a very small amount of it if you do not want to cover up a lot of area with the concealer. So now the next step is to set the concealer. And for that I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm in the shade NC25. Even if you have a drier skin type, I believe that setting your concealer is very important because uh, if you have any fine lines where the concealer will set or crease, it is very very important to set the concealer if you want your makeup to last beautifully throughout the day. And especially in the hotter months like this, it is very important to set your entire face I would say because otherwise your makeup will look very very greasy within a few hours of application. What I like to do is I take a smaller powder brush like this and I concentrate the powder on the areas where I have applied the concealer before you apply the powder make sure that if there is any creasing with the concealer you need to blend it out and you do not apply your powder on top of the creasing because if you do then you will set the creases in its place and then it will remain creased throughout the day taking the powder with a smaller powder brush and I'm applying it concentratedly more on the areas where I've applied the concealer that is around the eyes and on the center of the face and then with a the, with the bigger powder brush I'm going to very lightly set the rest of my face as well because I don't want my makeup to look greasy just at the beginning of the day that's it with the powder guys next if you can see that this side of my face looks more defined it has some natural shadows and some natural um, highlights which i have covered all up with the foundation and all the makeup so i need to bring the natural shadows of my face back and for that i need to bronze up my face i need to warm up my face and for that i'm taking my mac bronzing powder in the shade matte bronze and with a fluffier bronzer brush like this, this is a tapered brush and, and does the job beautifully to apply the bronzer in the exact places that you need to apply. I'm just going to pick up some bronzer with this and I'm going to apply it from the edge of my ear to the edge of my lip. This is where you need to apply your bronzer. Very lightly, I don't want too much of bronzer on the face. I want a very light amount of it also along with the forehead and on the jawline and on the side of the nose this makes your nose look really nice and sharp now you can see the face looks more defined it has those natural shadows which we had covered up with the foundation earlier and it looks more natural and warm and defined i'm also going to take the same bronzer on an eyeshadow brush and i'm going to put it on in the crease of the eyes now you can see my lid naturally has some darkness on it which I have covered up with the concealer but I want to add some depth and some dimension back to the eye so I'm taking the same bronzer and I'm going to put it just in the crease of the eye. Now you can see it looks more natural this way. I'm also going to take a very very tiny amount of it on a smaller powder brush and I'm going to put it along with the lower lash line as well. And now coming on to the blush, I want to add a nice rosy blush to the cheeks which looks really really natural. So for that I'm taking my MAC Glow Play blush in the shade Grand. I showed this in my top 10 blushes video recently and it is a beautiful beautiful product looks so 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 natural on the face it looks just like you're blushing from within I'm just going to pick it up on my finger and I'm going to apply it on the apple of my cheeks and I'm also going to drag it backwards on the top of my cheekbone to add that really beautiful flush of color on the face 
you can see it blends out so beautifully with your finger and looks super 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 natural i'm also going to take a teensy teensy bit of it on my nose because you can see your nose is the pointiest thing on your face and this is this is where the sun naturally hits first on your face so there is always some redness to your nose and it looks really nice and natural and gives you a really fresh look to the face and lastly i want to add some highlight to the face as well because um in the summer months especially you sweat throughout the day and your face is naturally shiny so just to make it look even nicer and to add a tiny 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 bit of that sheen to your face i'm taking my mac soft and gentle highlighter and i'm going to add just the teensiest bit of it on the highest points of my face I'm also going to take a tiny tiny bit of it on my eyelid because your eyelids do get greasy throughout the day they do sweat and they do look a little bit shinier throughout the day so just to add that natural natural ish sheen to the eyelid I'm taking a very small amount of the uh, highlighter and adding to the eyelids and also along with the brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye it makes your eyes look really nice and open now to finish off the eye look you can leave, you can leave your eyes as it is and just add a tiny tiny bit of mascara and that is it you're done for the day but what i like to do is i like to take a black eyeliner pencil and just at the tip of the eye i like to add a blob of this eyeliner I will blend it out using the same brush with which I applied the bronzer on my lower lid. Now what it does is it makes your eye look elongated. It gives that really nice elongated effect to your eyes and it looks really nice and open and sharp. And lastly I'm going to add just a tiny bit of mascara onto my eyelashes to make my eyes look even more open and fresh. I'm not going to add too much of it like I usually do because I'm going for a more natural look. So I'm just going to add a single coat of mascara to make the eyelashes look wide and open. That's it. And last but not the least, I am going to fill in my eyebrows. I have quite a lot of eyebrow hairs, and I do not have very sparse eyebrows, but. I do have some gaps here and there which I like to fill out and it makes a lot lot of difference in the appearance of your face in general. It gives so much dimension to your face and definition to your eyebrows. It makes a lot of difference. So I just like to comb my eyebrow hairs up and then see wherever the gaps are. I have some gaps in the beginning of the eyebrow and towards the arch of the eyebrows and that is just exactly where I'll fill in my eyebrows i'm going to take some of the powder and i'm just going to fill in the eyebrows at the beginning of the eyebrow and then towards the arch of the eyebrow and after i filled it in i'm just going to comb it back up and this will help to spread out any product that is there on in the eyebrows and it makes them look even more nice and natural now you can see just how beautifully it makes your eyebrows look defined and more put together and well that is it for the base steps guys i'll go on and do the rest of my half face offline and join you back and well that's it for today's video guys i'm going to finish up the look with a very 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 natural looking lip color and for that i'm taking my mac powder kiss liquid lip color in the shade more the mehrier i'm going to apply a tiny tiny bit on the lid and then using my finger i'm just going to spread it out to make it look more like a lip tint i want it to be really really natural and as close to my natural lip color as it can be and well that's it for today's video you guys 
I have shown you all the steps I take to get this beautiful flawless base makeup look and uh, and I hope you guys found it helpful. I would like to make more such videos for you guys. Please do let me know what other videos you want me to make in detail and step by step whether it is a smoky eye look or a red lip look or whatever it is that you want to see from me. I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them for you guys. If you do, please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel. Show some love, show some support and help me grow into a bigger and a better channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.